Hello and welcome back for another polymer clay tutorial. This one is featuring a faux crystal or geode look and I am so excited to be bringing you guys this tutorial with Tangi. She is a super talented polymer clay artist. I ran across her work and I couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, are you kidding me? Is she doing that with clay? This is amazing. So I'm so excited to share her with you guys today. When you're done watching this video, please go check her out on her Instagram account and on her website site. Leave a comment, show her some love. She's super talented and I'm so excited she agreed to share this with you today. Hey you guys, this is Tangie here with the faux crystal technique. Um, I came up with this technique sometime last year and this can be used on many different things. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This one is the Druzy, which is very popular. Once you figure this technique out, you can do this as well. So first thing you need is your base clay and this could be any color. Um, Translucent is very important. You can use the Cernit or a Primo. Either one works just fine. Um, you will also need um, Liquid Sculpey or Bacon Bond. I'm more of a Bacon Bond person, but you can definitely use Liquid Sculpey. You will need some glitter shards. I got these from Michaels. Um, and then you'll need these glitter shards as well. Um, and some opal glitter shards and I bought those off Amazon but you can also find those in Michaels this is the style we'll be learning today I'm just going to use a different shape so basically you need to get your base clay and start to condition it I'm going to get it nice and smooth as possible not to use my roller pen I did put it through the pasta machine about three times now we're going to take our shape cutter and you can use any shape so don't be shy use whatever you feel is comfortable um, and i'm just going to cut out a few pieces so i can get a few done at the same time now we're going to trace out our uh, geo shape and you can use any tool a hairpin a pencil whatever you want to use this is just to give us a base on where we want our crystal pieces to be And after we do that, we're going to take our translucent. This is the important part. And you're going to chop it up into very tiny pieces. Now, if you're doing a bigger kind of um, geo style, you could leave them in big chunks, but it looks better in small pieces with the translucent clay. Now we want to take our baking bomb or liquid clay here and you're going to add a little bit, that's a lot, but a little bit to your geode shape here. And you want to spread that out evenly with a paintbrush or anything you have, like you can use a little toothpick or whatever you want to use to spread it out evenly. Once we get that all spread out, now you can take your pieces and just add them to your shape here. And you just go around the baking bond or liquid clay into your shape and you can just do this on one side if you're going to do them on both you just do the same thing to both sides interrupting this video for one quick minute just to make sure that you know about all the amazing resources that we have for you over in our Etsy shop for polymer clay artists so the first one is the complete guide to polymer clay earrings this is a step-by-step -step guide all the details of the best clays to use conditioning your clay baking your clay literally everything is in this ebook more than we can cover in videos and things like that um, just because there's a ton of it um, a huge resource list with links and that sort of thing so that's over in the Etsy shop another thing is the getting started on Etsy book it's a complete guide to getting started on Etsy so if you're just starting out and you're interested in selling your polymer clay earrings this is a great resource for you to be able to hit the ground running get those items listed and hopefully start making sales Another one is our brand new product photography ebook. This one is huge. If you're selling online, your product photos need to stand out and be bright and beautiful. And sometimes that can be a little bit tricky if you don't have much experience. So this product photography ebook will walk you through the steps of getting fantastic photos with, um, you know, not super expensive equipment and things like that. Just little tricks and things that you can use to get the best photos possible. And lastly, we have polymer clay 
color recipes. So I have tons of kits over there with a huge variety of colors. I have a fall one that's out now, a Christmas one. Um, we've got pinks, purples, one with just like a wide variety. So those recipes tell you exactly what colors to blend together to make whatever color it is that you're looking for. But that's also a great resource for polymer clay artists. All right, I'm done with the little advertisement in this video. I hope you'll check us out on Etsy. The link will be in the description box down below and we are at etsy.com slash shop slash dashing and dainty. All right, let's get back to the video. Now it's time for glitter and these I got from Michaels. Um, you just find them in the glitter section. And I'm going to take these into a container and we're going to do this around the edges of our geo shape. Now, I didn't do this at first, but you always want to take a little bit of the baking bond or liquid clay and dip that tip in there. It'll be easier um, for your pieces to get onto your shape if it is if it has a little glue on it. So do that. Now I use paint around the edges of the glitter shard because they do bleed sometimes and this will cover up any redness that may come from those glitter shards. Um, they do have an antique gold paint but I didn't have any at the moment so I'm just going to mix this really bright gold and this bronze together to give me my antique gold look. Um, and that's how I like the color anyway so that's what I use. And this is what it should look like after you finish painting your charts. Now we're going to go bake it in the oven for about a good 25 to 30 minutes at uh, 250 is what I bake it at. It depends on your oven. So, And while we're waiting on those pieces to bake, I'm just showing you this technique that I use in different styles. Um, you have like a sapphire here, um, amethyst, which is my favorite. Don't mind that gold flake that fell in there. Um, this is one without glitter shards, so you don't have to use the glitter shards. You can just paint around the translucent clay. Um, this is one that I use, and you can use glass as well, but you it's not necessary. And then this is the druzy. You would just do the same thing, but cover the entire piece and paint around. That is it. That is the only difference you will have between the druzy and the geode. All right, so we're all baked now. So we're gonna use our opal glitter here and a little bit of UV resin. So I pour out a little um, of the flakes here and a little bit of the, uh, I don't know what to call these, rainbow glitter shards. Um, and I um, use a little bit of both on top of the translucent clay. have our resin layer we want to take a little piece of the glitter shards the opal and i use more of the opal than the glitter shards just because it gives it a nice crystal look you don't need much of the rainbow glitter shards you just take little pieces and randomly place those as well okay and once it's cured i cure it for about four minutes under the light um you can leave it uh, in there for longer or you can leave it outside under the sun for 20 um, which is easier but it's, the sun isn't shining that much today so i did the light either way is fine but i love this technique i came up with it uh a while back but i use it a lot i even used it to make a hoop you know um and these are very popular right now uh but they're same technique you just got to kind of play around with it. But I hope you enjoyed learning how to do faux crystals today or geodes, I should say. 
Um, and I would love to see what you guys make. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope it was helpful to you. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Again, check out the artist's website and social media and show your support. Thanks for watching this video today and we will see you in our next one. Bye.